Vinny is back. Woo! The thing with AEW is the matches are so different and they're so good and they're so much fun that if the booking is good, it's fucking great. And if the booking is questionable, you still really enjoy it because you're getting great wrestling. I've totally turned the corner on the kingdom. I'm going to win this tournament and I'm going to beat MJF for the title, but I still won't be happy. I just want my friend back. That's right. I fucking died. This is... This has <laughs> totally turned the corner into one of the best things in all of wrestling. She does sign language, which I think is one of the most beautiful languages in the world. Visually, obviously. Why can't she just say. do her promos in sign language? I think the bigger issue is she has absolutely nothing to talk about. The Bullet Club entrance is great anyway. But when you put card, blade, front and center, this is a masterclass in douchebaggery. This bump was absolutely phenomenal. And I've also seen on Twitter, someone has taken this fall and added cartoon sound effects, Homer Simpson style. <laughs> I will be Odysseus coming home from the Trojan War, fighting the Cyclops and tied to the mast to face the siren song. I love this promo. And he says, Zach. And Kevin Kelly says, huh? And Danielson says, Saber? And Idol says, huh? And Danielson says, Junior! And everyone goes, yay! He's got one year left as a full-time wrestler. He's not even full-time now. He wrestles well, like one that's... match every four months. That was very interesting. If Granny started any classic TV show, what would it be called? I read them all. Did you enjoy them, Granny? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> The one I liked the best was Granny Knows Best. <laughs> <laughs> well, shoot. We should have started with that and called it a day. Story checks <laughs> out. This is sent in again by Jerry Richards. Undertaker versus the goon. <laughs> I've been on, waiting for this one. Jerry is on the ban list. Cornette comes out and tells the Undertaker that he hates him. Now I have some <laughs> questions. Was the story about his parents getting burnt to death true? Yes, they were burnt to a crisp, and then his brother choke slammed him onto his parents' burnt bones. That was a sad story. Craig suggested Thunder Number One. I see. As our I did. as our show here today, and uh, as it turns out, ends up being a three-hour show. Well, as it turns out, the boss man wouldn't make a decision, so I had to. do No, something. I did make a decision. I said you get to pick. <laughs> that is a decision. It turns out we reviewed this show in uh, 2020. I also gave you a second chance to change your mind. Yeah, but we already you... told all the people. You oh, told everybody on Sunday. Craig's arguing it right now, everybody, but he has profusely apologized to all yeah, of us on I the did. text chain. And that should be enough, ass. For Card subject horrible. to change, Brian. It opens the John Moxley versus big-ass Bill Morrissey. I was just distracted by what the hell kind of shoes Bill was wearing. He appeared to be wearing spats like fancy dress shoes in this match. Because the next target of the Don Callis family, the living, breathing heart of Kenny Omega, Kota Ibushi. I mean, can you imagine working so hard and doing such a beautiful painting? This fucker Don takes a goddamn fucking screwdriver and jabs it right into the painting. Yeah, he destroys it. Yeah. Mel Coleman is her name. Oh. Mel Coleman Art on Twitter. Well, there you go then. I should probably get a fucking painting done now that I think about it. Let's see what you can do. Maybe I could get a painting of, of me putting a fucking harpoon in Oreo's blowhole. Ew. Yeah. I got graphic quickly. I'll put that right behind me. Wow. Fucking whale. It is amazing, and I mean amazing, how Tony Storm has made herself the most interesting woman in this entire company in like four or five promos. Somehow I made it through this entire 10-minute promo without noticing Chris Jericho's pink sequined high heel boots. And it is time for some simple math. And he recites the entire Scott Steiner math promo, I believe word for word, all the way through, which, when you think about it, I believe was also a promo on Samoa Joe. Prince Nana is dancing, and the Bucks are standing behind him, ready to super kick him. There was a 43 minutes left in this show. If this had been 43 minutes entirely of Prince Nana dancing, I would have been totally fine with that. Sadly, they went like 10 seconds. Roddy is just repeatedly screaming, Adam! Adam! They're carting him away, and he's just screaming, Adam! He's going, Adam! I can't see you! <laughs> I dropped an F-bomb on Observer Live today. I was so excited. 
and uh, I was fucking dying. Whoa. The kingdom. Oh, did I just say that? I didn't. Hit that. Hit that button. Congratulations, Roddy. Your first induction into the Hall of Awesome. Your your classic twenty year overnight success story. He is. How do we not put Becky Lynch clearly into the Hall of Awesome? She must be in the Hall of Awesome. She is the biggest women star there's ever been, mm -hmm. and uh, and she proved it again here on this show. Uh, this show uh, did a gigantic number. I mean, this was the most successful NXT ever. It was all Becky. Her match in the main event broke a million viewers for the final nine minutes. And uh, and this show, in terms of viewership at 18 to 49, I mean, within the last 12 weeks, uh, it beat at least one Dynamite show. What he actually did was he took off his leather belt and he began whipping a tree. He started whipping a tree with yeah. a leather belt. Yeah. He was putting a hurting on a tree mm -hmm. with his leather belt. Eddie Thorpe says... <sighs> <laughs> The schism meets in a park or something. No, they're in the fucking woods with another goddamn tree. They also have a tree. What is with all the fucking trees? They're is it the same tree? I assume this is building to a No Mercy match pitting Eddie Thorpe's tree versus the schism's tree. If you have anybody that you're following that is talking to you about Tiffany Stratton getting buried here, unfollow them immediately and uh, move on with your life because... This was the most important match of Tiffany Stratton's career. And because of this match, she will be a multimillionaire. And that's the end of it. Two good shows. Yeah, they were two great shows, I would say, this week. I enjoyed these shows immensely.